mix here, and we are back with uh, more Zelda. Let's get in here. Okay, bye, bye. I'm leaving now. Bye. So hopefully this episode we're actually gonna get some stuff doing, uh, stuff happening. I mean. Let's start to save from the item screen. The quest status. Ah, uh, now you're shoving me. Okay. Thanks for the info, but you don't gotta, don't gotta push. No. Oh, okay, go in. Hey. There are monsters outside the castle. If you see one, use your shield to defend yourself. Move in close enough to use your sword if you need to fight. Okay. I'm just gonna roll everywhere. Hi hey guys. Please be careful. You see the same thing? Yes you do. Ooh. The stairs looked a little treacherous. Treacherous. You ask me. Hey, hey, hey guy. Oh. First you won't let me through because of the ceremony, now you won't let me through because of the Vati. God. You guys are hiding something from me in there, aren't you? <gasps> oh. You are an enemy that I just decided to walk into, because no heart. Oh darn. No heart for me? Crow. Well unless you guys always hated crows. Watch your rocks. Can't go that way. Hey, what's up guys? So the Picori blade was just a little lock, keeping those monsters in that chest. The rumor is that Vati was looking for something inside the chest. I mean, something other than monsters, but nobody knows for sure what it is. I tell you, he sure has been nothing but a big headache to the rest of us. What are you guys doing? Oh, creepy. It's like all these monsters just appeared out of nowhere. Okay, fine, I can't talk to you. That earthquake was something else really tore up the town, so we've got a serious backlog of work to do. We've taken care of most of the monsters out here. Be careful around Minish Woods. Ugh, <sighs> Minish Woods though. The woods are thick with them. Of course, the place where I have to go. Name is Muto. I'm head carpenter around these parts. The King of Hyrule himself has entrusted me with this project. See, the recent earthquake tore this place up pretty bad. Listen kid, you shouldn't be playing or anywhere near the construction zone. You guys aren't going to let me in town. I'm so busy! So busy! Gotta finish here so I can go repair the steps next. Ah, uh, no talk, no time to talk, kid. The boss has us working our fingers to the bone. No time for a break, even. Apparently I'm not going in there. So, let's head towards Lake Hylia! <gasps> Grass. I... heard on. My favorite pastime is Zelda. Cutting grass. Ruby! It's green! Don't spend it all in one plate! Wait. How am I supposed to not spend it all in one place if it's one rupee? Logic. Yeah, there we go. You got a heart. Your life energy has been slightly repl replenished. Nope, spider. Get off. Killed you. I hated bees in Link to the Past so much. Yeah, I can go to Lake Hylia. Oh, Long Line Ranch! Oh, what? Well, <laughs> I need to get fall down. I can spam my buttons. Rupees! Minish woods lie far to the south from here. If you get lost, check your map. Grass! 
Oh, Link, you're heading for the Minish Woods now, aren't you? Leave the monsters that Vati freed to us and go find the Pikori. Okay. Hey, you don't mind if I cut the grass around your legs, right? Apparently not. Good. Because, uh, I wasn't gonna not, anyways. Let's get in. I wanna go while I'm in. Is it kneeling? Yeah, I can go in! Oh, the doors are closed, so I can't go in there. That cow is... freaking awesome. <laughs> Look at all the grass, though! Can I go in? Oh, no. Missed the button. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Octra. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there is a cyclone. I'm in a hole. Who thinks face you? Closed doors. I want to go. <gasps> I have to go. Wait, nobody's here. Nobody's home. Hey, let me break the pot. <gasps> this game. I wish to. Oh yes. Yes. Pot breaking. Classic Zelda. Pot breaking 101. don't know this about me just yet, but the more games uh, you guys will see me play, you'll notice that I don't like to uh, leave things like that unopened and stuff. Ha. Huh. It's a habit of mine where... I am uh, one of those people who's a completionist. Oh, I broke the sign instead of red. <laughs> I meant to read the sign, not break it. But um, I'm a completionist, so I, I I'll break everything, open everything, things like that, kill everything. That was not too far-fetched. Oh. I told him to do that again. I know. It's just, it's, I'm not smart sometimes. Fog is kind of scary. Very small log. Must be a clue. Ouch! Well, it's 
somebody stop them? Oh, Ow, 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 somebody! Can't anybody hear me? I got a piece of heart. Which is, for some reason, just sitting there. Okay, where was he? Hey, kid, you there. Ow! Hey, don't just stand there. Do something. Ow! What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me take this abuse? Help me! I like how that, that rock went straight through the hat. Phew. Well done. That was close. Not that I couldn't handle them myself. But that's besides the point. What in the world is a lone child doing so deep in the woods? Ho oh, ho, I see. The Pokori, you say? And Vati? Vati. Vati's cursed someone? What? The Sacred Blade? Is that so? I see, I see. You know, you and I have quite a lot in common. You see, I too am on a quest to break a curse of Vati's. And you say that reforging the Sacred Blade can break his curse, eh? Well, then you have found yourself a companion, my boy. My name is Ezlo. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. And you sit on my head. What? Is there something on my face? Quit staring, it's rude! Okay. Wait, wait, I say. You just shoved me! You walk so quickly. Too quickly, in fact. Can't you go any slower? Surely you've noticed that I have no legs. Boy, take a good look at me. Do you really think I can walk that fast? You're not even moving. Ah. If it isn't one thing, it's another. You are a troublesome boy. Ah! There. Now you can't possibly leave me behind. My, it's quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks, surely. And much easier on me. Hey, quit your squirming. Can't you sit still? See? There. Look at Link's face. He's so adorable. Yes, yes, that's it. Much better. Now, I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. If you ever need my insight, press select. I'll be happy to help. Ah, oh, such a hopeless child. I am not hopeless. Which one's my select? What? I haven't even had time to settle in, and you're bothering me? Deepwood Shrine lies, obviously enough, deep in the heart of these woods. So says my superior intuitive sense. Now get a move on. It looks like a normal hat. My normal hat. Link's normal hat, I should say. Next Hold on for a moment, my boy. We've stumbled across something important. The world of the Minish is very small. You're far too big to meet them now. Eh? We're the Minish? Ah, yes. Silly me. Allow me to explain. You humans called them Pekori, but they refer to themselves as the Minish. Strange how, in the world of humans, only this forest has kept that name. Anyhow, anyhow, deep in the forest, they built a tiny village where many now live. But if we're to enter the village, we'll have to make you a touch smaller first. Look at that. At first glance, it appears to be a mere stump, yes? No, that stump is a portal used by the people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, you can use it to shrink down to minish size. Just stand on the stump and press R to shrink. To return to normal, stand next to the stump and press R. Get, a, get me up there and we'll give it a try. Oh, do you really have to jump on poor Link's head? Oh my. Yay! Oh, I'm so tiny! Welcome to the world through the eyes of the Minish. 
Now, aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me, though. Portals that reduce your size are all around, in different shapes and sizes. If you want to return to normal, stand next to a portal and press R. But there is one thing you must know. Being minish size is full of dangers. Mere puddles at your normal size are bottomless swamps to the minish. And as your companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me, too! <laughs> Even though he's tiny, he's just yak yak yakking. So proceed with caution, my lad. If not for your sake, then for my own! Oh my god, I can... <laughs> I can still use my sword! Nope, not, go not gonna go over there. Not dying today. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I'm on it! Barely, but I'm on it. Ooh. I like this acorn. That's a lot of acorns. <laughs> it's so adorable! Hmm. It appears we have found the Minish Village. Oh my god, you guys are so cute! Pickle Pickoy! Pickle <laughs> Pickle Pickle I guess. I don't know. I don't want to speak their language. Pickle 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 Okay. I gather it's been quite some time since they last saw a human. What's that? You didn't understand what they were saying just now? Ah yes. That was the language of the Minish. It's a little different from the dialect I am most familiar with. I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they said myself. But perhaps there is someone here who understands your language. We should look around. Okay, I'm not gonna narrate for the Picori anymore. But they are adorable. Okay. I thought that was actually on the ground. <laughs> Did the exact same thing. Oh, I guess they're lights. That's so adorable. Hello. Nope, you both say the same thing. How about you? Cute. But then again, I like tiny little cute things. <laughs> I guess you don't understand me either. Obviously I'm gonna come back to that guy later, since he looks like the head dude. Or you. Oh! You speak like... Oh my, it's been quite some time since any humans came here. Sorry, totally. I gotta like, narrate, because it's English. <laughs> my name is Festari. I watch the Abbey, as well as the Shrine to the North. You seem to be having some trouble with our language, don't you? You could use a Japanet. It will allow you to understand our tongue. You should be able to find one in the Barrel House, just south of here. Pokey pokey. I'm gonna go this way for no reason. <gasps> Good thing I went this way! Collect two more to increase your life energy. This one? Is this it? No puzzle, I ruined it! Oops. Oh 
Oh, Link. This must be the Jabbernet Fistari told you about. Well, you'd better eat it if you plan on making any progress at all. You ate the Jabbernet, which kind of looks like a fish or something inappropriate, but at the same time a mouth. Now you can understand the language of the Minish. So you've eaten the Jabbernet and now you can understand us. The elders said that humans can no longer see us if they once could. It's amazing that you can see us. I wonder what is that? Did they hold something behind their backs or something? Or is it the, a tail? You've heard of travelers who find a kinstone and get really lucky? Well, that's all thanks to items made by us Minish. You see, we thrive on making humans happy. It gives us energy. But we only do it in secret. Well, you just told me your secret, though. I want to talk to all of them. Cory, Minish. Oh, that was pointless. <laughs> <clears throat> our ancestors, the ancient Minish, used the portal between our worlds. It brought them into the human world, and they settled in this forest. There are so many monsters around these woods lately. The Elder said that even the Shrine to the North is filled with monsters now. Well, there's my next, next task. Okay, let's just... Oh, that's another house. Head to Festari. We Minish live in Hyrule Town and other places too, not just in these woods. You probably haven't noticed, but lots of Minish live right... Oh, excuse me. Blah. Live right in Hyrule Town. I'm getting set to leave for town and visit some of my Minish friends there. So you've eaten the Jabbernut, and now you can understand us. Sorry, but I know little about swords. I'm sure the Elder can help you. speak our language. It's been quite a while since we've heard outsiders speak our tongue. We have little to offer you in these woods, but please enjoy your stay. Thank you for your offer, but we have no time to relax. My name is Ezlo. This child is Link. We need to break a curse that has been cast on the Princess of Hyrule. To do so, we'll need to reforge the broken Pekori blade. Ah, yes. And you've come here now to have the blade reforged? If you want the blade reforged, you will need the four elements. These are the crystalline forms of the energies that fill our world. Only by infusing the blade with these energies can a new blade be forged. Here, give me your map. I can mark where these elements can be found. The earth element can be found in the shrine to the north of the can be found in the shrine to the north of Festari's abbey. Speak with Festari. He will show you the path to the shrine's entrance. Go with caution. Evil creatures have lately made their home in our shrine. Return to me at once after you have found the earth element. Alright. And now we have our new quest. And I am going to save the game. And tomorrow we will go off and head to our first shrine slash temple. Alright guys, um, thanks for watching. Uh, come back tomorrow for more and let me know in the comments if you have anything to say about the video, about me, if you want me to talk less, want me to talk more, etc. etc. And once again, thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.